So just about everyone who owns a zombie strike blaster has probably heard of the double strike. Pretty simple, two shot, hammer action, smart AR pistol. Nothing much else to say about it. And then there is the much more recently released and far less common Quadra. Four shot, spring powered, smart AR pistol. But which one of these is better? And should you buy a double strike over a quadrat or vice versa? That's what we're going to be covering in today's video. Hey guys, Sir Mike A here, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video on the Nerf Zombie Strike Double Strike and the Nerf Zombie Strike Quadrat. Let's get right into the video. So if you remember my comparison video between the double strike and the holdout, go watch that by the way, a link will be in the comments. If you remembered that, then I will be reusing the same format. First, I'll be going over the similarities of each blaster, then the pros and cons of each blaster, starting off with the double strike, spoiler alert. And finally, I'll be comparing which blaster is better, so you know which one to buy over the other. Let's get right into it. Starting off with the similarities of each blaster, both are spring-powered running on a Smart AR system. Basically, if you don't know what that means, a Smart AR is a system only present in blasters with multiple barrels that aren't revolvers. So, not like the Shockwave or Surge Fire or Strong Arm or anything. Um, and what it does is, if the blaster has multiple barrels and it isn't a revolver, as I just said, then it will prevent the blaster from firing out of all the barrels at once. Take, for example, the double strike. Um, if I were to have this loaded, it wouldn't shotgun both darts at once. It would fire one, then I frame it again, and then fire the second one. And that would be a much better example if I actually had it loaded, but if you have a double strike and you have it... If you fired it for yourself, then you pretty much already know that it runs on a smart AR system. Another similarity is that both blasters have a little tack rail on top for your optics and whatnot, and they're both from the Zombie Strike series, of course. That is all the similarities I can provide on each blaster. Now let's get to the pros and cons of each one of them. Pros of the Double Strike, starting off with Hammer Action. Obviously, this is a pro because you can operate it one-handed. Perfect in game modes where you have to carry something like a flag a flag is definitely not something you want to set down in game modes that utilize it. But you also don't want to be left defenseless while you're carrying the enemy team's flag back to your territory. So what do you do? You use a hammer action blaster. Most hammer actions will do good, and obviously a flywheel blaster will do you much better than most hammer actions, but not all flywheel blasters are well balanced as most hammer actions. And Besides, even if you're more into hammer action blasters than flywheel blasters, there's a few things the double strike has that other hammer actions don't. For example, the sleekness and low profile. This thing is so small, and it's so sleek. It's perfect for tucking into a sufficiently large pocket. For example, I currently have a winter coat because it's snowing where I live, and I'm able to tuck this into the pocket of that just fine. So, yeah. It's perfect for putting in a sufficiently large pocket, especially if you've got, like, headphone wires or anything. You're very unlikely to catch this on it. Um, another thing is that it's extremely smooth, and as it's a Nerf Brain Blaster, it's got the nice confirming click when you prime it. This is why I favor Nerf Brain Blasters so much, because they're so smooth most of the time, and, I don't know, they just got that nice confirming click. They generally just work better. They generally just feel like they work better than most off-brand blasters. And this is why I typically use officially branded Nerf blasters. So yeah, those are more pros of the Double Strike. Let's get on to the cons of the Double Strike now. Because even a sidearm as good as this isn't perfect. Let me tell you that right now. So anyways, on to the cons. Starting off with the cons of the Double Strike. The stupid grip. 
I don't know why, but I absolutely hate it. It could be worse. They could have put thumbtacks on it. Don't get any ideas, Hasbro. But, man, the script just feels so cramped on my hand. It just feels awkward. Only a five-year-old would have a good time handling the script. Like, I don't even have particularly large hands. And even I'm getting uncomfortable just handling the script. I just hate it. And it's almost enough to completely cancel out that smooth feel for me. It, like, it's that bad. And this is why I choose the holdout over the double strike. Purely because the ergonomics are just astronomical on the holdout. Whereas the double strike is kind of lacking in them. Another pro is that it's only got two shots, which kind of defeats the purpose of hammer action. Usually, if you want, you're usually going to want a high capacity blaster if you're using hammer action. So, obviously, something like a hammer shot or even a persuader is going to do you much better than two shots. Um, but yeah, um, those are all the cons of the double strike that I could think of. Let's move on to the quadrat. Now, getting on to the pros of the quadrat. Most obvious one, the higher capacity. It has one, two, three, four barrels instead of just two. So you're able to get four shots off in quick succession too, if you're good enough with this. Another pro is that the grip just feels less cramped. I don't like the double straight grip at all for how cramped it is. And I definitely think the quadrat grip is a huge improvement to that. It still has one minor issue that I have with it, but I'll cover that in the cons. And the final pro is that it's got improved irons. The double strike didn't really have that great of iron sights, but if I just give you a look down these irons, you'll notice that they are actually kind of improved. There is still not the best since there's no rear iron sight to correspond with the front ones, but um, whatevs are improved either way, and they definitely look more like realistic irons. But anyways, yeah, that is it for the pros of the Quadrat. There definitely weren't that many compared to the Double Strike. Let's get on to the cons. Cons of the Quadrat. Cons. It's not as smooth of a feel. Sure, it still has that nice confirming click that most Nerf Blasters do, but the feel just isn't as smooth. Like, this trigger definitely feels a bit heavy when you're not... If you try and pull the trigger all the way, it definitely feels a lot heavier. And this priming handle just doesn't feel as smooth as the Double Strike's prime action. Um, but yeah, lack of smoothness is definitely one. Um, another con is that it's not as small or sleek. There's definitely a lot more areas on this blaster to catch stuff on. For example, headphone wires. You are very likely to catch headphone wires on this if you're not careful. So, yeah, maybe drawing this out as quickly as a double strike isn't such a good idea if you carry, like, headphones and stuff on you when you nerf. Or if you're just generally worried about snagging something on it, I wouldn't recommend trying to quickly draw it out. And final con is this little notch above the grip. It doesn't bother me too much, but after I fire the blaster enough, it just really gets annoying. It digs into my hand. I just don't like it. This blaster would have had a perfect grip if it weren't for that just little notch right there. But yeah, those are all the cons of the Quadrat. Let's move on to which blaster you should buy. So, between the comparison of the Double Strike and the Quadrat, which is the winner? Which one should you buy over the other? Well, for this specific video, there is no winner. Both blasters are pretty good on their own, and if you're looking for one of these specifically, then buy either one. There isn't any objective reason why you should purchase one over the other, but there is one unfeatured winner in this video, and that is definitely the Persuader. It combines the small size and form factor of the Double Strike, as well as the smoothness, with the good ergonomics, wide grip, and capacity of the Quadrat. It also has these similarities that both blasters have, aside from the Zombie Strike series, of course. 
The Doomlance Persuader is definitely, yeah, it's definitely a good option compared to either of these. And this, why I've been thinking about getting one of those, because it could pretty much kill both the Quadra and the Double Strike for me. I'm not saying either one of these blasters are bad, but if you have the money, get a Persuader, because that thing combines both the pros of the Double Strike and the Quadrat, as well as removing many of the cons that both of them have. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and as always, stay awesome. This has been Sir Mike A.